Um, Jim, Nat, very nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, congratulations on the movie. I uh, really enjoyed it. Oh, thank good. You. Thank you. Um, I wonder, these kind of coming of age movies, you kind of you, you tend to see a lot of kind of like semi autobiographical stuff in there. Is there a lot? Is there much of you yourselves or like situations from your lives that made it in? Uh, a little bit. I mean, there are some uh, that are inspired by stuff, and then some that are like quite literally from our lives. Uh, I mean, in particular, the very first scene of the movie where um, Trent, played by Steve Carell, is asking Duncan, played by Liam James, what he is on a scale from one to ten. That that sort of six three conversation happened to me when I was a kid. I was actually asked by my stepfather at the time, and and I went with six, and he said I was a three. So we launched from that as far as a, a dramatic way to sort of start this coming of age story. And then I think just we both went to water parks, and mm -hmm. we grew up on the East Coast in the States, and it's very specific community of people that we wanted to write about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you are you um are you a fan of like coming of age movies in general? Are there, do you have any favorites or ones that you took inspiration for for this? Yeah, yeah, certainly. I mean, I think growing up for us, you know, I think Stand by Me and um, you know more recently Dazed and Confused, Almost Famous. I mean, I think we're a fan of all those movies, and and then especially the films of John Hughes. You know, someone who was able to sort of balance the comedic and the dramatic, you know, and, and not talk down to kids, but sort of, you know, feature them. And people both recognize you, people recognize you both, you know, starring in this movie from, you know, your other on-screen stuff. Mm -hmm. Also, you've written this, you know, Oscar-winning writers mm -hmm. and now first-time directors as mm -hmm. well. Which, does any of them come any easier than the others? Or any you feel more natural doing, or? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> None of them come easy. Uh, certainly writing, uh, I mean, we obviously started as actors, uh, and that definitely doesn't come easy for Nat. It's, um, it's a, I have to... It's a challenge for you. I have to hire a few coaches. A few. And, yeah, really, really as live an yeah. live the character for a long time before I actually play You're the You're like character. a puppet. I mean, that's how, that's what, you know, it's strings. Uh, I, I think that was that's obviously the most natural for us as being has been performers. And then we started mm -hmm. writing a long time ago uh, uh, when we met and working at the Groundlings Theater, which is sketch can, it's comedy improv theater in Los Angeles. And I, I don't think any of them come like the easy for us, you know. And directing is obviously this is our first foray into that. So you know, knock on wood, we'll do it again. <laughs> Yeah. And since you've won your Oscar, has that made has that made things easier for you? Has it opened more doors? Do you have studios offering you stuff or does it, you know, for instance, help you get a movie like this financed? Yeah, I mean I think the latter. It it well both. I, I think it it certainly opens doors and it certainly gave us a lot of opportunities as far as jobs were concerned. But I think more importantly for us than you know signing on to do a huge studio movie after it was to come back to this script which is something that we wrote long before um, and that actually got us a job for the descendants so uh, it certainly provided momentum and some currency I think to to come back and you know try to get this up on its feet and so that's what was exciting you know uh, uh, an exciting result of what we went through with the success of that movie yeah and you've both had um You've both got you both recognisable faces from the small screen as well, so Jim from Community and mm. Ben and Kate last year. Yeah. Um, do you are you interested in writing for TV? Is that I know Jim, you wrote the amazing episode of Community last year. Is that oh, is that something you. you're interested in doing as well? Yeah, for sure. Certainly, I think you know we we. Um, we started there. We started there, and we developed uh, some TV, and and it was sort of a instigated because we won't, as actors wanted to write roles for ourselves um, and TV seemed like a good medium to sort of begin that journey. Um, so I think that's still in the back of our minds as far as yeah. something that we would love to do eventually. Yeah, do you have any plans next? Have you got your next project lined up or are you still kind of steeped in the way we're back? <laughs> no, we're, we're just coming out of that, but we, uh, we were back to writing so we're by you know, midway through a draft for um, an action comedy for Kristen Wiig, which is who's a friend of ours from the Groundlings days, and and um, something a little bit different in tone for us as far as a little seedier and um, eclectic characters, but, you know, a little bit more warped. And then um, we're also writing a small sort of way, way back size movie for Fox Searchlight again because we enjoy working with them. So those two things as far as writing, and then, you know, obviously we have some... Uh, 
acting stuff to do in the, in the immediate, but for now, we'll do so that. Can you see that? Yeah, we start back uh, in a week, so for the, our, our fifth season, and then and Nat just shot a pilot too, so. Excellent, we'll look forward to seeing both of those. Um, again, congratulations on the movie, and uh, thanks a lot for speaking to me. Yeah, thank, thank you very you. much, appreciate yeah. it.